So the winner of the Inspire Award here in Illinois at the state championship is... This is the moment the Riverdale Rams robotics team won the Inspire Award at the Illinois State Championship. Of the 152 First Tech Challenge robotics teams in Illinois this year, Riverdale is officially the top team in the state. And with that win, they have punched their tickets to next month's World Championship down in Texas. So today, we have two of those team members joining us right here in studio. We have senior Tyler Lockerbie and senior Ava Phelps. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Why don't we start with what your guys' roles are on the team? What do you do? Yeah, so I'm the project manager, the head project manager, as well as a driver on the team. And I am head of public rela relations, so connecting with our community and motivating um, the younger generation. I love it. We've done a couple stories with the robotics team at Riverdale over the years, and I think, Ava, you've been <laughs> told to do a lot of interviews with us. But let's talk about the third member of the team that you brought here today. Who is this? Yeah, so our robot's name this year is Bumblebee. Bumblebee. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this year's game, we have to intake little hexagons um, from the field. Um, they go through the robot um, with these wheels, and then they go up into this uh, bucket here, and then I'll extend it for you. Um, and then based off of that height, we can score onto the backdrop. Oh my god, how long, I mean, maybe this is even a silly question, but how long does it take to put together something like this? All seven to eight <laughs> months <laughs> that since our challenge came out, we have been working on this robot and iter iterating it ever since. Oh my gosh. Right. And now that you've won the state championships, the Illinois, what do you have to do to prepare for Worlds? Are you bringing this? Yeah, so this is the robot that we'll bring to Worlds with us. Um, we have a lot of iterations to go through still. Um, you know, the engineering design process is never really complete. Yeah. Um, after every match, we come back together and we hit, see it, like weigh the pros and cons and see what we can make better on the robot and improve with it. Um, and we, in addition to that, we have a lot of grant writing um, to do for Worlds to, to get money for that. And then also just kind of planning when we're going to get places, how we're going to get there. Um, it's a lot to do in Houston, so. I can imagine. And the video or the photos that we're showing right now has to do with a lot of your guys' donation work because besides robotics, you guys help out so much in the community. Talk to me about your Lego donations. Uh, so every year our school decides to uh, join with our community and raise monetary funds uh, so that our robotics team can go out and buy Lego sets for the University of Iowa Children's Stead Families Children's Hospital. So um, over since to 2017, we've raised $15,000. Wow. So that's been a really big accomplishment for our yeah. team, our biggest accomplishment. Wow, and you guys do a lot of work with a lot of young kids too, right? Right, yes. yeah, so throughout our season, we try to involve our younger community as much as possible, um, just um, to get them involved and ha make them have fun, but then also to add sustainability for our team. Um, going to the middle school, going to the elementary, we have a STEM night coming up in our local community that we're pairing with our um, school's NHS to, to put that on, and we're gonna give away an iPad there. Um, just giving the kids involvement as much as possible. We also team with um, FLL, which is First Lego League, and so a lot of our team members go down and we help to um, to teach them coding and just necessary robotics things that contribute to robotics. I mean, beyond the awards, beyond all the incredible philanthropy and the work you do with the community, what do you think sets Riverdale Robotics apart? Yeah, so I think something that sets us apart from almost every other team in the state and then beyond that is that we are a classroom. Um, so besides just being a club, a um, robotics club that we've been for the past 12 years, starting last year, um, we implemented robotics as a classroom, part of our core curriculum. Um, so we not only get an hour every single day um, in class, but then we can also work outside of school as well. Wow. And now that for you guys as seniors, your class time is almost coming to an end. Right. Yes. What's next for you guys? What are you doing after graduation? Um, so I am not looking in engineering. I am going to, I'm looking at Bradley University in Peoria and then majoring in psychology. Wow. Yeah, I'm committed to Cornell College in Mount Vernon, Iowa, and I'm going to be double majoring in political science and English. Wow. Wow. Well, no matter what you guys do, I'm sure you're going to go far. 
before then, we can't wait to see what you yes. do at Worlds in April. We're excited We're as well. We're excited. I'm so excited for you guys. Thank you so much for coming in today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It was their spring break, so we extra appreciate it. <laughs> for you guys at home, a few years ago, News 8 did an in-depth story on the robotics team's Lego donations. You can rewatch that right now by going to our website and clicking on the As Seen on TV tab.